ಹಾಯ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಫಂಕಿ ತಂಗಿ ಸ್ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಶೀಲ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಒಂದು ಇಟ್ಕೋ ತರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೊ ಗಿವನ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಟೀಚರ್ ಅರೆ ಇಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ತರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅರೆ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದ ತರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿ ದೆನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಸ್ ಸೇ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅನ್ ಅರೆ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೇ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಟೂ ಆಸ್ ಅ ತರ್ಡ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ತರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೇ ದಿ ಆರ್ ಎ ಲೆಂತ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಕೊಮ ಟೂ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೂ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಒನ್ ಎಮ್ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅನ್ ಅರೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೇ ದ ಅರೆ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಐ ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅರೆ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ದ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಾಟ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅ ಇಂಟೀಚರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ರೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೂ ಪವರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಪವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಪವರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೇ ಇಂಟ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಬಿ ದ ಸ್ಮಾಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಂಟೀಚರ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಂಟೀಚರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ವೈ ಶುಡ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಐ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಲೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೋ ಲೆಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಇಂಟೀಚರ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಸೊ ವನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ವಿನ್ ಯು ಚೆಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ವೆದರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಚೆಕ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟೀಚರ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ವಾಟ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಎವರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ತರ್ಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಸೈನ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದ ಗಿವನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಗಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಸೇ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಕ್
so if the number is between those two numbers then that can be a second maximum number so this is a second maximum number so in such case what or in such case what we need to change we need not hand a touch maximum number we are not touching maximum number this time because this is the second maximum number so we start with second maximum number so second maximum number should become 2 here but before we making second maximum number equal to 2 we have to shift that to the whatever number present in second maximum that should be shifted to third number so that means let's say second maximum equal to 3 initially okay and first maximum will be equal to 1 i mean not first maximum it's a third maximum and max we will not take it max 1 will not take it to the highest number because this, this is the case where we are handling second highest maximum number so once you get max uh, the given number equal to let's say 4 since 4 is greater than 3 this 3 should be replaced by 4 but before replacing 3 by 4 we have to shift 3 to the third maximum number then replace this 3 by 4 so while shifting it that means we have to make m3 equal to m2 then m2 will become m3. so in this case two shifting was required M two to M three, M one to M two, then M one was the given number. But here, M two to M three, then M one will be M two. That is what we need to do. Only to shift it because this is the second highest number. The last case, what comes that? So last case is nothing but what if the number is between M two and M three? That is the third highest number, right? So that is the last number. Okay. So coming to one, if you see one. It is less than M two. If it is less than M two, it will be less than M three also because M three is higher than M two. So one checking is enough. If it is less than M two, and what is the other condition? This one is greater than M one. What is M one? That is integer minimum. So okay, I have to replace this minimum by two now. Okay. And this will be and and yeah. So now we have one that is of course greater than integer minimum and one is less than m two. If it is less than m two, it will be less than m three. Why m one is greater than m two? So that if the given number is less than m two, then it will be of course less than m one. So we need not to take both condition. If one is less than m two, m three, and one is less than m two, no. Only one is less than m two is fine. And if this condition satisfies, if this condition satisfies. Yeah, if this condition satisfies, then what we should do? We need to just replace the third highest number. Do we need to change anything? No. So just replace this number by one. M three equal to one. Because if the number is coming within the range M two and M one, there is a third highest number. The number is less than M two and greater than M three. So that M three will be the this number. So there is nothing else we need to change. There is nothing but number. So this is the operation which we need to perform. So if, uh, first we check if a given number is greater than the max one, then you have to change uh, max two, max one also. If, while changing max three, uh, while changing max one, you have to change max two, max three as well. If the number is between m one and m two, that is second highest number. In such case, we need to change only max two and max three. If the number is between m two and m one, then we need to change the last highest, third highest number. So this is the case. But We need to handle other cases also. This is okay if the given number is between three to one and the length is greater than three, greater than or equal to three. Okay. What if the length of the um, given array is less than three? Let's say the given array is three comma two, or only two with one number. So in this case, what they have to? When will you get? When will you get the situation where third maximum doesn't exist? That will be the only case when the array length is less than three. So if the array length is less than three, then what we need to return? We need just return the maximum number. So here in this case, we have to return maximum number. So how will you get to know the array length is less than three? One thing is you can do array length is less than three like this. Num dot length if it is less than three. But there are cases they have told. Third distinct maximum number. So, if what if the array has one comma one comma two? So, in this case, if you see the distinct numbers, it's just one comma two. So, first highest will be this, M one will be this, and M two will be this. 
there is no third highest number but the length is 3 right so what we do is we just need to check if m3 is equal to equal to the initialized number that is int minimum if it has not been changed then what does it mean it's a that means there is no third highest integer hence you return max 1 you have to return max 1 else what we need to return max 3 got it why are we not checking length why because the array may contain duplicate elements but a restrict number of number of elements in the array will be 2 in this case you could see array length is 3 but distinct elements are 2 so that we get max 1 and max 2 but not max 3 so to handle such cases what we we'll do is we check whether m3 is equal to the initialized value that is int minimum only if it is equal to initialized value that means number of distinct elements in the array is only 2 hence there is no third maximum number existing in the array thus you return the maximum number m1 otherwise you return m3 but the, again the problem occurs with this int minimum okay now let's say the array length array length array be 3 2 and int minimum int minimum value means 2 per 31 minus 1 okay if you see other array length is greater than or equal to 3 yes that condition is satisfied next if you check greater than or equal to 3 length that is satisfied if you check all are distinct elements yes all are distinct elements that means this condition is satisfying over here so if you see actually m1 the highest number is 3 second highest m2 is 2 third highest is a integer minimum right but according to this condition if m3 is equal to integer minimum then you return the maximum number but if you see it is one of the numbers it is one of the elements in the given array with the distinct element and you are returning this you have to return this as answer not 3 as answer if you return max 1 this 3 as answer that will be wrong because this is one of the elements in the array and they are that is distinct with three elements we have. So this integer minimum has to be written not in the, uh, what 3 as a, the maximum number has to be written in this question. So how do we solve this thing? Because they have given the constraint range 2 power 31 minus 1. So what can be done? Minus 2 power 31 to 2 power 31 minus 1. So what can be done? For this case only as I said here we don't take int minimum instead we will use long when you use long this overflow case doesn't happen in this case so that if we initialize max 1 max 2 max 3 to long minimum then at last if the max 3 is equal to long minimum then you return if it is equal to long minimum then only you return max 1 if it is equal to int minimum, no, you won't return. You will return the max third number. So that is how you solve the problem. So first we'll have, so in C++ we use long long, max one equal to long L long, that is long long minimum. Similarly, you do for max two and max three. So this should be max 2 and next will be max 3. So the next you iterate over the array. So for int num in nums, each number in the array you iterate it. Check if the given number if it is less than max, if it is greater than max 1, then you have to modify max 1, max 2, max 3. So first max 3 will be initialized to max 2, then max 2 will be initialized to max 1. Now you initialize max 1 with the given number, highest number. Else if what if the given number is less than max 1 but what happened the given number is greater than max 2 so that is between max 1 and max 2 then it's a second highest number so in this case you modify only max 1 or uh, max 2 and max 3 so first initialize max 3 equal to max 2 then max 2 will be equal to the given number that is the second highest number Else, if one more condition of we need to check is what if the given number is less than max one? If the given number is less than not less than max one, max two. If the given number is less than max two, that is of course less than max one. Why? Because max one we get greater than max two. That's fine. And the number is greater than max three, then that will be the third highest number. So in this case, you modify only the max three equal to now. So yes. So at last, we have to check if 
max 3 is equal to equal to long minimum then what we return max 1 that is the highest number because they have told here otherwise we just return max 3 that is the third highest number yes so we shall run this yeah and for java also the same logic applies instead of long few changes in the syntax long dot minimum value we use here and same code and yeah here we need to typecast it to int in java it doesn't happen but in c plus plus long will be directly typecast it to int because int is a heritage that is one change which we need to look into yes successfully submitted if you understood the concept please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel we'll come up with another video in the next session until then keep learning thank you